Hello and welcome to this week's top five. It is the week of August 31st, 2017. I'm Christina Reese. I'm Randy Knudsen. And we are counting down the top five art events in much of Texas. We are, uh, we will get to Houston in just a second, but this is the art events that are happening outside of Houston. Because there's a big chunk of the state where that has not been hit by a hurricane, where people might want to go see some art, and there's some good art to go see. Um, for those of you thinking about places like Houston or Corpus Christi or Beaumont now uh, that have been hit by Hurricane Harvey, there's lots of ways you can help. We have information on the site, and I know that a lot of people are working on specific ways to help artists who've been affected, whose studios have been flooded or whatever. We will be getting the word out on all of those efforts as they come in, um, so stay tuned. So, number five this week is in Denton. It's at TWU. It's the galleries up there. Danielle Avram runs those galleries. She's the curator. This is a group show. It's called The End and the Beginning. Um, I'm talking about it because Morshan Aliari is in the show and she spent some time in Dallas. She used to live in Dallas for a little while. She's got a lot of friends here. She's got a lot of fans here. She does very good work. She's Brooklyn based now. Uh, but also Martin Back, Sean Miller, and Jenny Vogel are in this show. The theme, uh, I'll just read this, is adaptations that derive from responding to continual shifts in physical, emotional, mental, and technological landscapes. I've seen some stills of some of the videos that are going to be in the show, etc. It looks very, very good. It's going to be interesting. It's an interesting group of artists. Number four is at Pump Projects in Austin. It's called We Were There, Sandy Carson. These are photographs of the most joyful, exuberant, wild people at music concerts and music festivals. Yeah, he's an editorial photographer and a commercial photographer, but he's been photographing people at these rock shows, at these live concerts for 10 years from the security pits. I love them. I love looking at them. I love how, I mean, the fans are just, they're <laughs> so thrilled to be there. And the different fan bases, you can kind of see, this is Metallica, and this is Slayer, and this is Santa Gold, and this is... Jesus and Mary Chain. It's very different from, from show to show. And um, they're just really dynamic and fun and emotional. And it's a great group of photos. Number three is at Ballroom Martha, Tierra Sangre Oro, which means earth, blood, gold. Uh, this is a group show that has been organized by the artist Rafa Esparza. Rafa Esparza has definitely had a big sort of presence in the national art scene. He was in the Whitney Biennial early this year. He was in Made in L.A. at the Hammer Museum last year, which I did see. It was a huge installation on their sort of out, outdoor uh, terrace of these handmade adobe bricks. His father is an adobe brick maker in Mexico, and so he's using this family tradition in his work. Um, and I think a lot of the interest in this stems from the same place where people are interested in anything that's artisanal and handmade. It feels authentic. I think what this is is one of his adobe installations, a kind of a room, and then he has invited these other artists who mostly make discrete, you know, two or three dimensional work to place their things uh, in this room. And he's really talking about the visibility of brown people in Marfa, as he calls it, and he says that this whole project is should expand the idea of a brown laboratory, which is an important thing to talk about within the context of Marfa and the art world there and the people who've been there a lot longer than the art world has. All right, so number two this week is in Lubbock. It's at the Louise Hopkins Underwood Center for the Arts. It's John Rivet. Uh, he's an Amarillo-based artist, actually. These are new paintings. I've seen them. I did a studio visit, I don't know, while he was working on them. I like the, I like his work anyway. I would say for John Rivet, this is cleaner, crisper work. It's punchier. It's more graphic. He's still working with patterns. He's still working with color. It's just Everything is very, very cleaned up and very sharp. These are abstract paintings. This is a nice installation. I've seen some pictures of the installation at Luca. This is for First Friday. It should have, be a really nice crowd. So number one this week is at the Power Station in Dallas. It is the inaugural show of the residency called Proximidad. It's Jeff Gibbons and Gabriel Rico. It's the work that both of these artists, Guadalajara based artists, and Jeff Gibbons, who's based in Dallas, have made while they did their exchange residencies between the two countries. These artists, their work seems to exist quite comfortably side by side in the power station. I think it's one of the better shows I've seen at the power station. These various objects and sculptures and videos and things like that are engaging. Um, I like it that they've started this residency. The guest advisors for this first year were Bill Arning from the CAM and Kevin Rubin Jacobs. I like that they picked Guadalajara because Mexico City would be sort of the obvious choice. Guadalajara I think is the third largest city in Mexico but it's a it's a cool city on the Pacific Coast. I want to say that it's nice to see you in a video dispatch from Houston. 
Well, I, I am lucky. There are many people like me who are just incredibly lucky. We came through pretty unscathed at our houses and didn't lose power. And it was not that big of a deal in terms of our personal situation. And so I think people just feel this strong urge to get out there and help people, whether it's someone they know or volunteering at a shelter or whatever. So a lot of people are just out trying to help right now. It's and and you know the pictures coming in from Beaumont and Port Arthur and Orange. You know we've got friends over there now. Today are not good. So there's going to be a lot of work to do. A lot of work. We can do it. <laughs>